Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Bloodborne. In today's episode, we are visiting Castle Kanehurst and uh, seeing what's going on in the snow. Are we going to make... Will, <coughs> will I help you build a snowman? Uh, there will be no frozen jokes <laughs> for the entirety of this episode. Okay. I, I decree it so. Okay. Oh, those uh, those frames are those five FPS bugs. Yeah, that's the. I get why they do that. It's just so weird when they get to a certain distance, they become two D. Hey, Sony PS Five Remaster win, PC port win. Oh, I don't know. The From Software ports to PC are always kind of iffy. We still need to play um, Code Vein oh, on PC Code Vein. Yeah. and then have the, see how that works. I heard that the higher the frames per second, the weirder the physics are. Like, they did not make I've seen some of the videos where, like, someone does the superhero landing emote next to Coco, and her boobs just freak out. You have to have it on a low frame per second to have it freak out. Oh. Which doesn't make sense, because you think it'd be higher. Yeah. Given what you just said, you would think it would be the opposite, but here we are. Again, Worm's worst enemy in this game. I agree. If only I had a weapon that did damage. Well, fuck you. How do you feel about the mosquitoes? Well, one, I fucking hate mosquitoes as it is. I can have garlic, I can have myself bathed in eight set, like, layers of repellent, and I still get devoured. So I just hate them as a whole. And here, them having long hair just makes it worse. I was gonna say, what do you feel about the blood-sucking mosquitoes? And then I, I wasn't gonna say it, because then I felt stupid. Because that's what, that's the, that was the joke, that's what they do. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually dumb. <clears throat> this one's a little thinner. I mean, I think, in all logistics and actuality, I think only the females actually I don't know how true that is, but I'm gonna believe you. I think, I think that's, I think that's the case. I don't know how true that is. I'm too lazy to look, so I have my own book. Like, Dakota does a lot of stupid shit. That don't matter to anything, so maybe she'll live. Oh, she I mean, knows. that's me too. Always been told I'm a fountain of just the most useless knowledge. Alright. Stupid mosquitoes! They're not mosquitoes, they're worms! <laughs> they're worms! Technical difficulties. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. I just... It killed me. Alright, that's another one from the death counter. <sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Bloodborne. Uh... We had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties, and we are now in front of the... We just we got past this whole opening area here. And uh, as you can see, we are painted a nice shade of crimson and are right in front of these gates now. So without further ado, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. I'm just staring at how much I would trip over every one of those steps. Especially as slick as we are right now. I feel like... <laughs> like we'd slip and tumble down. Like those are pristine and pretty, but the other ones because they're all jagged, I would trip over every single one and bust my face. Ooh, we're in the castle portion. Yeah, y'all didn't miss much. It was. He killed some mosquitoes, which yeah. made me feel better because I'm a, a mosquito attractant. We had some fun with mosquitoes. I lost about nine health files. It was a bad time all around, but we're inside. Ooh, ghosts. I mean, you want to talk about lore places. This is where you really need to start looking. Why are there so many killer ladies? I mean, they're all the go. They're all. Bio oh, Jesus! Okay, well, I'm just gonna get hacked to death. Um, I believe they were all the nobles that were here, and then the uh, the church executioners came and killed them all. Annalise, the the Blood Queen, is literally all that's left of yeah of the vile bloods. So 
I, mean, the I think the executioners, if I recall, is what Alfred is. Yes. Which is why he doesn't like them. The giant majestic cone heads. Hey, look, mosquito. Yep. F them. F them. F them. All right, we're back inside. See, that's all you missed. I gotta be honest, Dakota. I think I'm gonna be tapping out of this weapon soon. Okay, what's another weapon that you're not used to that's this thing's, based? I'm sorry, this thing's horrible. What's another thing that's skill based that you can use? I don't know, we'll come across. I did get, I can use Eileen's little uh, blades. Because I couldn't do enough damage to Henrik quick enough. I think the problem with this weapon is that it takes too long to swing. It has like the swing of a power weapon, but, not the hit. but no hit. Yeah, there's no knockback whatsoever. I mean, these guys are little nothing enemies, and it barely staggers them. Have you used the Mercy Blades before? I have. They're actually one of my, like, on my Alice, uh, who's my main character. Well, was until... She died. She died a death. Um, I use the blades along with the Rikuyo, the twin swords, so... Gotta be one of those dexterity users. Can't be a strength user. I don't do Unga Bunga well in this game. I want to know, like, are those people? Are they monsters? Like, what's up? I mean, if you would stop killing them, maybe you could ask. No. I have one purpose here. I think they're people. They look like people. I think they're just castle servants, maybe? So they just desecrate this guy. I'm trying to turn him over. Okay, that's not You're, you're not. I'm just making this worse. I, they're probably just castle servants. Oh! That. that was the one that I said I was going to use. The Rider Palash. Okay. What is that? That's basically this weapon. <laughs> Go use it. Let's get through the castle first. Okay. Because I don't, I don't want you using a weapon that you like. Not. Well, I've never used the Rider Palash. You want me to use a weapon I've never used. Right, but... right, right. But you were like, oh, I can go with the Mercy Blades. And I'm like, oh, no. <sighs> the thing is, I don't mind necessarily even using this weapon. It's just so bad. So what, have described to me the Rider Palash. It's literally this weapon, but noble. It is a, it's like a fencing sword, or a rapier is what they're called. It's a rapier with a gun attached. Oh, so they took a fancy sword and duct taped it. Yeah, and it even, I believe even in the, the lore for it, and we can check it out, I believe it even says that it's the Rider Palash is based on this weapon that I'm using. I can check it after I kill this fish. Okay, I'm down. Let's see. Since you're all for the lore bits, um... Weapon wielded by the Knights of Canehurst combines an elegant knight's sword with a peculiar firearm wielded by the Canehurst Order. The old noble's longtime imbuers of blood are no strangers to the sanguine sanguine plague, and the disposal of beast was a discreet task left to the servants or knights as they were called for the sake of appearances. Okay, I was wrong. I'm talking out my butt. But it, it, oh no, right there. Okay. A trick weapon crafted by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. A prototype weapon serving as a simple firearm and spear, possibly created in imitation of a lost Kanehurst weapon. So it's the other way around. We're using the ghetto version. Yeah, they were like, hey, that shite's cool. We have no idea how to make it. So, so. That we're using the duct tape per version. Yes. Where the other one's the OG. So that's cool. So I guess uh, we'll just... We'll, swap over to that one? We'll swap to that one. We'll role play as a Kanehurst Knight. Will swap that? Oh, uh, I think I have the Knight's wig. We can do even better. The, the dude knight outfit, I like a lot more than the knight. Yes. And it's the dumb wig that I hate the most. It's the little, the little floofy neck. Combined with the wig. It just drives me crazy. So do you have that outfit? Oh, I'll be able to get it here. Or I can just go with the night set and look even cooler. That's what I'm talking about, the night set. Like, That's just expensive. But, fashion over levels. I need fashion. Fashion 
born. <laughs> born of fashion. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's going on? You're just so worried. I'm always worried. Also, again, gigantic chest. Look at all these little statues everywhere. Oh my god, Link. Uh, are you locking onto a statue or an invisible target? Probably an invisible target. I'm sorry, I've never looked at the paintings. Go back. He's so prominent, whoever He's so that noble. Is. We should try to make him. No. He would have been cool as a Kanehurst knight. My guy looks dumb. I'm no longer a fan of Charles. I'm a fan of that guy. I like Charles. I could put on a dress. No. Why not? No. Because you're a man. Are you saying in no. 2020? No. Is that what you're saying? No. I think that's what you said. You're trying to make a manly man who would uh, tie you to the train tracks to kill you. Wouldn't that be the most manly man thing? In a dress? Wearing I mean, a I dress. guess so. You know, I'm just playing this weapon wrong. I really should be using that long spear attack for everything. This this playthrough will be about thirty Thrust. episodes longer. Thrust, thrust. We thrust into everything. Lots of statues. Before it was gravestones. Now, now it's statues. Now they're just putting statues everywhere. Yep, yep. Oh. It's stuck on the geometry. You're an enemy. Doink. It had I love the thud that it makes. <laughs> Oh, there's the courtyard. That's where That's we went through and got all the items and killed some mosquitoes. And died a bunch. Yeah, we're not talking about that. So when our death counter mysteriously uh, raises by a good... Oh, I was leaving that out. 10, 15. No, I'm okay with it. We were having some technical difficulties that... Uh, Threw off. Ah! Let's come back to see if I missed anything. I completely forgot about you. I have a groove, Dakota. I had my groove thrown off. We also just watched The Emperor's New Groove. We did. It's a great movie. You should go watch it. What about you, too? You guys are really bad at this ambushing thing. Oh, I was gonna pull him over. I guess he's not stunned by blood. See that guy on the wall? That's what he looks like now. Do you feel old yet? That? No, because if you look at the dudes, the gargoyle dudes, they have like... Oh, because they look like old men. he's still straight up alive. He's talking at you. Maybe he's gurgling. You don't know. I always love this part because it's like... They always put one right here that's like try thrusting Because I love this community oh. so much. <laughs> I'm also an immature, like, five-year-old. So. No, no, no. We all are. Sometimes. We all should be. I think these guys have the blood thing that the dogs do. Yes. Huh. Because they're annoying as shit. So they're dogs. Just with the fancier attacks. Um. Which means I don't know if you can parry them. It just knocks them over. My first attack just sails over. His hitbox is so tiny. My first overhead swing just flies over him. Okay. I think this is the, yeah, the two gargoyles on the perch. I think we're just going to get cute about this one. These games get so much easier. That's the other thing I could tell you about these, uh, these types of games, mm -hmm. it's so much easier when it's one-on-one. -on -one. They're unfair when you start doing more than one, but if you can use a pebble or, you know. Cheese it. No, that's not, that's not cheese. I use I the, cheese. I use the environment to my advantage. To knock him off. Cheese. If anything, I think I'm smart. Cheese. Okay. Vile blood register. <laughs> Over. Oh, they're blindfolded. Yeah, 
You never noticed? Which makes me wonder, it's like, if they're all blindfolded, they've all had their throats cut, were they executed? Which would make sense if the execution was good. Then. I don't know if that's, like, their name, or if that's because they got their name because of their M.O., but that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, but doesn't the queen not show her eyes either? Well, she has a helmet on. I think she's more just, that's just her look. Maybe, maybe it's a thing, they all cover their eyes because it's a way for their queen or something, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's it, Dakota. They literally all have their throats cut. Oh, their hands are bound with the knife, too. So I think you're right. They were killed executioner style. Now we gotta kill him again. Do you imagine dying, becoming a ghost, and then having to get killed again? Please don't hit me with your stupid little dart. I see you up there. Oh, I hardly noticed. I'm sitting here dancing. I do not want to deal with those. I'm gonna get hit here. Yep. What does that do? It marks me. It makes them more aggressive. Do more damage. Ugh, that's that's gross. <laughs> I don't think I've noticed that before. Screaming? When they scream, all the blood coming out of their throat. That I didn't notice. You didn't see that? No, but I'll see it in review. This guy keeps hitting me. With this. Good shot. Doop. Doop. Hey, listen here, you little shit. Oh, yeah, I saw it. There's places I don't want to be well marked. This is it right here. Just get through these guys. Oh. But you did see it? No, I did see it. It was really weird. And it also goes like, all around them. Yeah. one ghost in particular. No, but I think that's the case, is that the executioners came through here and just rounded all the... At least they were nice to blindfold them. What I wonder is why there's no men, other than the servants here. It's literally all just vile blood ladies. All the men left for war. Maybe they're the mosquitoes. Ooh, that's right. That's also creepy. I don't want to think about that. What, all the, <laughs> the men being the, the mosquitoes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say you're wrong just to hope that you're wrong. Because that sounds terrible. <laughs> cool, I died and now I'm a mosquito and I just suck on the corpses of my friends and family. Congratulations to me. At least that plunging attack does something. These guys can just go piss off. I am not a fan. I do, okay, I didn't notice that. The plunging attack's actually really cool. <laughs> you literally put the spear straight down and just... Go shunk. Shunk. They do so much damage. Because they're big dogs. It's so, I, don't, I know calling them dogs is really stupid, but... Poke them both. I was really delayed that and was I was a, like, uh. That was derpy on both our parts. Because he should have punished that and he didn't. This is how we approach. That charge back that you said would add 30 episodes to our, our Let's Play. If I approached every enemy like that, yes, absolutely. Stop it! And then they fire because of the rally mechanic in this game, as long as you don't get hit again. Um it immediately makes it so that you can recover health, but they fire like a second dart right away, just so that it can permanently take that health away. Yeah. Doop. Yeah, little, it's like little design things like that. It's like, man, you guys are a bunch of dicks that designed this, you know that? I love you from software, please make another version of this game. I think you were right though with the whole light in the bottle and that Bloodborne 2? Yeah, I don't think we'll ever see Bloodborne 2. I don't think they will. This is like their... This is their crown jewel, and I don't think... As much as Dark Souls fans say that this game's too easy, 
And having played Dark Souls, yes, it is much easier because of some of the design choices. But, you know, just because it's easier doesn't mean, you know, it's not funner. And I absolutely think this game is funner. That's a, that's a hot take there, sir. I know. I'm sorry, that one was screaming... how? It's head. It's I head's mean, in its hand. I mean, yes, its head is in its hand. But... They're ghosts, Dakota, they don't have both. No, when she was screaming, it was just a fountain out of her neck. It was really weird. I didn't notice. I guess I'll see on the one over here. See? Fountain. Well, you see, when the head becomes... <laughs> the head becomes separated. The ghostly vocal cords stay there. So it's just spewing out all the blood, but it was the mouth at... Oh, she's running over here. That's weird. I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm gonna stab a chair. You're trying. There's a little D-bag right here with these little spikes. I think these guys take less hits. That's not Are you just gonna be chain locks there? No one else is coming to get me. I think you got them all. You're just gonna sit there and scream. I mean, I would. I'd be like, get out of my ah! house! No! Dude, I just got piped. I would tell you to sc I would scream at you to take it, get out of my library. I mean, you're disturbing your blood, you're being really loud. Can we? Look at how many books there are here. This is amazing. I'd kill for a room like this. Maybe not like this, but. That's a little like, cool books. Yeah. I don't know what I put in it. Picture books, I probably. I slowly am buying pretty books because Barnes and Noble and all those <laughs> books and millions. I would honestly, I would love to do like my own binding get like books and make my own covers and stuff like that like that would be so cool and have them all just pretty yeah who doesn't want cthulhu on their hp level okay i have that me too i think we have different ones though oh look night stuff my you, night garb you yep. said that was expensive though no this is the there's the night set and then there's the canehurst night set oh. the night set is like the dress set where the Kanehurst Knight is the actual armor. You have to buy the armor and the knight set you get for free. Gotcha. But I will put the knight set on. I um, see those are lots of type of shit that I wouldn't notice, but the fact that you played this game. It's so not even so much it's you see an item and it's like this is conspicuously in a dead end. It's kinda like the werewolf down in uh old Yarnum. Yeah. That's hanging once as soon as you go in the alley, he jumps down behind you. I mean, when you play your Dark Souls, you're gonna have to get used they do that shit a lot. I'm surprised you weren't used to it after Code Vein as much as they pulled that crap. It's like this isn't my first Souls game, you know. Any of the times that they did that? I'm oblivious. That's me. true. <laughs> like, I hate to break this to you if this is news. I'm... It's not. I like to pretend it is, though. You're like, wait, you're you're saying you're dumb? What? No. No. This is news to me. All right. Um, this is the top of the library. I love that you can see all the way down, too. See all those... Look at all those books you destroyed. Yeah. It'll be okay. I do love that you can see our breath here, like, showing just how cold it is in this library. God. I was like, this is a long time. Give me a weapon. Give me a weapon I can at least, like, set on fire. You can't even do that with the Mercy Blades, either. You can't have them on fire? No, nope. because they have arcane scaling naturally. So because they're not completely physical, they can't be converted. Same with the Burial Blade, the Scythe can't convert it. Like a lot of the skill weapons you can't. The whip you can. Which I started with. Why are you screaming, bro? Also, why are your eyes red? Why, what makes him fancy? Or is he just a screamer? I think he's just a screamer. Whatever he's doing. The, the walking around with his 
Hands uh, up. I know you can see the other ones out there. Yeah. I always look, so I was like, where did they come from? And they're like, okay, you can take one, do two. Of course, if he's not gonna help his buddy, that's like me in every co op game with you. What? Getting molested by the boss. <laughs> I'm just over here going, ah, yeah, here you go. Ah. Here's your healing spell, Lee. Have fun. <laughs> you used me as a, t like, health tank in Code Vein. That was funny. I don't... That was funny. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tell me about how it's funny that I'm your health tank. Hey, why didn't you tank that for me? <laughs> You don't want me playing this can with you, you. Can you tank large falls off of large buildings? And Code Vein, yes. <laughs> kind of. They do have fall damage. That's true. My favorite was always the the fall damage to the... Uh, you would, like, fall to die and kill yourself, and then your co-op partner would revive you. You'd be like, no, I just want to die. <laughs> just let me go. In that game, if you didn't watch our previous playthrough, which should be up now, so go check that out in Code Vein, um, your co-op partner, which it is very encouraged that you have one through the game, it's not like these. Where it, it goes either way. Yeah. Um, there is a skill that allows you to basically like just have a health, an infinite health pool as long as your co-op partner has one HP. Right. So, I would just use Dakota, and every time I would die, she would take the hit for me, and it was great. Cause I Until I got just stun-locked, and you would just die. I would die over and over and over again. <laughs> well, because the enemy AI is calculated to stop attacking you as soon as you die, but because right. the it triggers... Oh, you took my souls. Or, uh, yeah. Oh, he has them. I was like, his eyes were glowy before, and I'm done. Okay. 61 thou. Probably should level again. Probably. Not gonna. I know you won't. <laughs> Have you given up on asking? Well, I haven't seen a lamp to yell at you for. And when you went to the last lamp, you didn't have Echo, so I can't yell at you to do it. I wonder why that is. There's the... where we came from again. Oh, that's us coming in? Okay. Yep, that's the shortcut elevator we took up. That's where we just popped out right there. And then we went in. So that's the whole library part on the on that part. So you go in that side, go all the way around, because the bridge where we fought the sword guy is right there. The little mini sword guy that you could shoot and knock down. Oh, uh, okay. That's the bridge that builds, that gaps both of them. This is all super contrived to get up to the top, by the way. <laughs> and what's at the top? Who knows? We'll find out. Shortly. Shortly? Real shortly. Do you have gloves on your character? Because with it being this cold, I can't imagine yes. touching that ladder would have been pleasant. I think they all have gloves. Oh, hey, gloves. Yeah. Gloves is its own uh, mechanic. Oh, dude. I'm dapper. I never liked the little feather. No. Like I said, I'll run this for now, and then we'll switch over to the night set when I buy it. Which means no more leveling up! Eh. I figured you'd go back and switch weapons, but if you were determined to use your current I'll, weapon... I'll use it through this. I think the forest is when we change. Okay. This guy all frozen in place and stuff. If his head's looking down, how does his crown stay on his head? It's probably frozen to his head, don't you think? Now it is, but it wouldn't have been initially. It, it... If he froze to death. He's obviously been up here a long time. Maybe they just shoved it on his skull. He's so cool. It's too bad he's gonna kick my ass. All right. Martyr Ligarius Death Counter. We will have a separate Death Counter up for this one. I have a feeling uh, this is not going to be pretty. But 
we'll see. Who knows? Maybe it'll go well. Like dodging into the skulls? Yeah. Like it's little things like that would be like it. This is gonna be a lot of cat and mouse for this for the Ooh. I think you got it. I have faith. Well, not a good start. We'll just try to get in close until he stops using his freaking magic. Oh, that was a big skull in your face. I thought maybe he'd swing. That's why I took the chance. I was gonna try to just counter up with a uh, with a parry, but he didn't. I don't know, he's being weird. Listen, I've only done this spot tonight once and it wasn't really. I kind of just stumbled my way through it, so I'm not sure. Ooh. I shouldn't have went. I was gonna. I, I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy and not showing a lot of damage to show for it. So, cat and mouse, and then you go in and hang it. Yeah. If I had something that did a little more damage, I'd be a little more in and out, but... That big skull just hurts too much. Oh, I thought I got out of there. But... We're wasting health. This thing's just gonna fly at us. No, no, no. Okay. And I'm not getting any chance to recoup any health either. Come on. I'm just like watching and granted watching is very repetitive, but I'm like, cool, cool. I'm learning this fight for when I'm going <laughs> to do this again. Well, you have big skull, the big one right there. He has a sight swing too. Hey that. Oh my god. One! <laughs> to the side. I had just a little bit of a knock back there. Oh, yum. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. I don't like him. I mean, I'm <laughs> sure you don't. Nah, it's okay. So how far of a run is it to the Well, uh, it's... might as well out of the boss. That isn't enough. How much do I, do I have enough to make it plus six? I do. Oh, the other thing? Yeah. But you don't have any echoes to... I do. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, you have a little... Let's, uh, let's go use our rapier. I think it's time. <laughs> You're like... <sighs> not that that... I don't think that weapon's much better. But it's not the rifle spear. And that... It at least has faster swings. I can work with that. Okay. I do not meet the requirements to hold this weapon. I do not have enough blood tinge, so I'm gonna have to level blood tinge up one, which kinda sucks. But hopefully this is enough blood that I can do all my leveling and still... And still, like, have let's some see. left over level of thing you Yeah, let's see. Uh, just need one. Blood tinge. Yeah, that should be enough. It actually isn't that much. Farewell. It's amazing what happens when you, you know, use your echoes and you up. don't have a shit ton. Shut up! <laughs> oh, man, I hate this. <laughs> Ungod! <laughs> so is the LT... Okay, no, that's at legitimately. Does it not have a gun? Ah. R2. So the tricked R2. Which I think then, when you trick it, trick is a quick shot. Okay. Interesting. Well, we'll see how it works. I'm gonna save the rifle spear just in case this shit's worse. I don't see how that's possible, but... We'll 
for consistency's sake, I'll just leave it at plus six. Don't want to use my chunks unless I know I'm going to use this weapon. But this is actually a weapon I've never used, so... I'm still happy. That's all I'm asking out of you. Like, you still think you know you you. <laughs> Plus, it's making it a more interesting... You're having to learn as you go still. I'll have my sidearm, too. So I will have a second gun, which you is have, nice. You've got the Evelyn. Yeah, I don't have the blood tinge to use it. I plan on using the Evelyn if we're going to go full uh, Kanehurst Knight build. Just because? I think so. Yeah, I think that's how we'll do it. Have make, fun with it. Make it a little different for you? Role play? Mm-hmm. Well, that's always what I try to do in these games. I don't necessarily go for the most meta. I mean, yeah, on, on some characters I will, just to make life easier. But I, I don't care so much about the most meta as I do, like, I just want to have fun with it, so. Like how my, uh, my arcane wizard, I have wearing the wizard hat. Yes. That kind of roleplay. It's got a, it's got a quicker stab. Even though I'm just a slug slinger. Slug slinger. <laughs> so where does the gun come from? Because you can see that it literally is just, it looks like a pistol. Right? And then it just kind of vanished. Oh, was that... It slides forward. So see, it's, it's part of your handle. It slides back. Okay. Well, let's see. So it does about the same damage. Which, it's a skill weapon. I don't expect it to do anything more. The, the thing is, it comes out quicker. Ooh. That's another thing I didn't think of. You get, usually when you stop attacking, they come by, they like attack so quickly. Like after the second you stop attacking. So firing off that transform with the L1, I'll probably be able to catch a lot of just parries. random, random viscerals and parries, yeah. Since everyone likes to attack directly after you're done, that one does not have the sick plunging attack. Though. Just like, and die from above. You literally take both hands on the spear and, and just point it, it straight him. down. Yeah. All right. We have our newfound weaponry. I do like that I'm like, yeah, it's a new weapon. It's any other weapon but what I just used. Like, Even though I have no practice with it. I'm clearly going to own this guy now. Not to mention I'm so underleveled for this part. <laughs> I want to say, like, the recommended's like 60 to 70 here. I think? I could be wrong. I know a lot of people come here after the forest. And Ligarius would not be nearly as difficult for me if I would just do the same, because I would have at least a plus seven. But you like the challenge. I do. I do. I don't like when everything's stupid easy. I also don't like going up and only doing 100 damage and then falling off a cliff, so... That sucks too, I suppose. All right, take two. Fog gate. Is there fog gates in Dark Souls? There is. Ah, yes, please and thank you. You can judge my confidence in a fight on whether or not I go pick up the. <laughs> right away. I can just move. One swing doesn't. Doesn't take half a year. Yeah. And it really has a gun or like a stake, like. In his hand? Yeah. It's a sword. Oh, you got a sight view. Yep. He just never gives it to me enough the side swing that I'm comfortable just sitting in and, and taking it or going in. Gotta get used to the move this too. There we go. That was a normal shot. I need to get the rapier shot. Come down 
Come to me. Come to me. <laughs> Call an ambulance, but not for me. Get up on my level. Or get down on oh. my level? Oh no. That's really interesting. As someone who doesn't parry because I'm dumb, that's that's really interesting to me. That's what happens when you don't time it right. Slice. Well, I am having a much better time of it. It feels like you're cheating me, but it's just he just keeps doing that little cute over again, so I can't really say anything. But me. It's just easy to parry. That's probably the easiest one. Because his other ones, he's he comes out swinging wildly like that. And if you shoot at any time during it, you'll probably catch him. Oh, I didn't get didn't get that one. This is why I do enjoy some of the strength runs that I do because I don't parry in those. I think so. That's kind of the uh, the way you should do it. Like I was telling you, with the with your mage one, you want to try to parry with that rune that I found that gives you extra. Yeah, the bullets. Yeah. Because I use bullets. bullets as magic. Which is a weird concept. Yeah. Less said about that, the better. <laughs> Crown of Illusion. One of the precious secrets of Kanehurst, the old king's crown is said to reveal illusions and expose a mirage that hides a secret. And so Ligarius donned the crown of his own volition, determined to prevent a single soul from stumbling upon the vile secret. What visions did he see sitting serenely upon his new throne? The game kind of tells you in every... Hey, go put it yeah, on. Put this on and go to his throne. His throne's broken. We broke his throne. Can you imagine, though, if... I know this game's been picked apart to death. I know there's probably nothing left to find in it. Yeah. Could you imagine if somebody, like, putting the crown on and going to every part of I the would. game? I would have. Had I not already known that that's, it's a, it has a one use, yeah. I would have straight up done that. Because that would have been so cool. To hide something else like that. Yeah. And I know there's little things, you know, here or Even there. if it's like, here's a bonus just. Just, just like, little itty-bitty things that don't matter. Well, one of the things I know is the, uh, the Gascoigne, the music box yeah. if you play it when he's your npc right. helper he'll actually respond to it and it interacts it's it kind of like interacts with the world too so it's pretty like things do have a purpose like does it that uh, box ring bells yeah and i think what it does is it basically just triggers hit boxes so oh and of course you can hit a bell to ring it yeah so if you do it near a bell it triggers the hit box Why do they have so many statues? I couldn't imagine. Do you think that's all the dead nobility? I think they just like statues. Well, because like some cemeteries have statues. In the same way. Oh, do you think like these were supposed to go to the cemeteries and whatnot? And instead they got lost and just delivered it to these people? <laughs> uh, I see you ordered 10,000 statues. Also... Whoever the stone maker is in this world is making a killing. <laughs> all right, here's your gravestone. All right, next is the statue. We go with the gravestone. So all the gravestones went to Yardim. All the statues went to Kainhurst. But then you look at, like, the city of uh, of Yarnum, and you look at the healing... Like, it's just buildings on top of buildings. And then you have tombstones on top of tombstones. And it's like... We're, and then statues on top of statues. It's like whoever is making all this stuff. Wait, what on you it. don't know is it's nobility, and they're just getting like maybe a penny out of the yeah. a dozen. Make more. Maybe that's how they make all their. That's how the vile bloods make all their money. Oh my god! I cracked the secret. What? What do they call it? Like they they sell they. Big masonry. Big masonry doesn't want you to know. <laughs> All right, we have our slave labor, and we're selling these, um, not a dime a dozen, but like a hundred dollars pop. But we're paying the dude who's <laughs> making them a dime a dozen. Congratulations. We now have a stone empire. So anyway, we wouldn't shut up during this part. This is the Vileblood Queen. 
This is what uh, Ligarius was. He he killed all her subjects and was basically sealed off this tower. How does he get in? How, we got in through the crown, but you can't see it without the crown. Right. But now we have the Canehurst badge, which is what we wanted. We await thy return for the honor of Canehurst. All right. Over here, we have the summons. I think we did good. I think we did good. See, if that uh, if the Ligarius death counter had gone over ten, I would have had Cyber do a uh, Ligarius GD for us to overlay. Because oh. I think he's gonna be the one that get. I thought he'd be the one that gave us the most trouble. No, you just needed a weapon switch. I don't like shotguns. They take too long. This one's at least like like I showed you with the ghost. I went one, two, three, and then she immediately started to attack. I don't know why I didn't do it that time. I did it, shot. So you just you just pop it off immediately and it. You have a little nip. Do I? Oh my back! Look at that. All right. How much are we gonna have to pay to get this shite? Don't be crazy. I mean, you got a lot of money. So we're we gonna stick with the writer plage through the rest of this. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, thought. <laughs> Even for two thousand. Uh, we'll keep all our... I don't like getting rid of those, so... We'll keep all of that. Ooh! I am, uh... Hurting on blood vials, yeah. Can I... Can no, me. You gotta go start can, over. Can I go, get up there! Damn it. Okay. You butt. I don't think there's anything. I, I hate showing these parts because it's like I'm doing this in real time, of course, and sitting here trying to do my thought process while trying to talk is horrible. Yeah, that's why you're the one at the helm because you're better at it. No, just sitting here going through like doing math on what shite I need to keep and what I need to sell and it just sucks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make this plus seven. Going through the force of the plus seven weapon is going to be hilarious, I think. But it's one that you're not used to. It is. It's also a plus seven weapon, so we should be okay. I think we can sell all those other gems. So let's go ahead and we'll fortify. No, we don't want to fortify the pistol anymore. We'll start fortifying the Eblen. I need to get more twin shards, which we should get throughout the entire forest. And then we'll go ahead and fortify our Rider Pelagia. Plus seven, and I think because our skill is maxed at 25 right now, We've hit the first soft cap. You desire. I'll wave at her. <laughs> hey, hello, that. It's all I know goofy. you're praying <laughs> or whatever you're doing, but I need to talk to you. So it's soft cap. I think we take that to 17, which is, I think, the minimum for the Evelyn. Farewell, good people. I know, another skill blood build. I'm so, so original. 18. Hey. So I need three more in Blood Tinge, and I'll start dumping the rest in the skill and bit. Maybe a little Endurance. We'll see. We see. We see. Um, before we leave you today, I think we go and uh, we'll go give the shite to Alfred. Oh, the, the letter? The summons. Yeah, why not? Oh, but we did get the ring slot, though. So let's go ahead and take our oath. I think that gives us healing near death. Yeah. Uh, I don't need... I don't even have enough vials to be maximum, so that won't help us out much. So let's go talk to Alfred. In the Cathedral Ward. In the Cathedral Ward, because he was on the way to the forest. So we'll talk to him, and then I think that's where we'll leave you off. Don't choke and die on me. <coughs> I'm dying! Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Ah! So we're going to go talk to Alfred in the Cathedral Ward. Uh, he's going to... He was asking for a summon to Kaner, so we're going to try to go give that to him. You're not going to talk to her still? Eh, she's all right. I'm just glad you know your way around, because I'd be like, I don't know where that door is. I think this is the place we can see the only normal burbs here. 
Oh shit, I didn't even know there was normal birds. Yep, I'm just hanging out. Do you see it? No, I did see it, yeah. I just didn't know there was normal birds. <laughs> so obviously these guys should be much easier now, right? Oh shit. I guess I could always come here and farm, but we ain't about that life. Do it live. We, we do it live. We don't farm here. What's up, oh, Al? No, they're just... Give him the summons. I like how... Are you sure? Is that the sigil of Kanehurst? I've heard tell of Kanehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. He Wonderful. seems like he uh, thank you doesn't profusely. like them. I will depart no? immediately, no. but first, we'll give you that idea. a token of a, my a, a lot of context clues there. Ah, I feel my master's hand at work. Praise the good I have a blood. bow in the back of my ear. And let us cleanse Ooh, these tarnished streets. So, how come he couldn't get there without the summons? Maybe just to get the... I don't know, we took a ghost carriage there. <laughs> <clears throat> there is no driver. The horses were all dead when we got there. I imagine it's like sealed away with magic or something. That would makes be the... sense, especially with the illusion crown. I guess that makes sense. I would imagine the whole castle, even though you can see it from Hemwick, but I, ha I don't think you have any way to get there unless you have the summons. How do they send out the summons? My bird? Probably. You give it to a bird at the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, we can see that now. Hi. What? I can't. I can't get it to work. You're gonna knock uh, over my soda. We'll cheer for him. That's not what I was going for, but it'll work. <laughs> this game has uh, the gestures mapped to the axis control on the game. So you hold X and then you move it around. And it, how it, yeah, how, how it goes. Unfortunately, because of that, you end up doing a lot of dumb crap when you really don't need to be doing dumb crap. Right. How many times I've been in the middle of the fight and cheered for glory as I got impaled by something. <laughs> so where are we going? Uh, the Queen's Chamber. Also, how many blood echoes? I probably should check that. What do we need? So I need, we'll say 30, 20, 20. So what is that? 30, 20 is 50, 70, 110,000? Okay. 110, 120. I think we can do that. <laughs> we just won't spend or level. That way we don't stupidly over level. <laughs> I mean, it's, if it's a way to <clears throat> prevent it, sure. So we sent him here. Throwing knife. One of the old Hunter Henrik's favorite weapons, and it's funny because he does toss Look, just knives at you. Okay. Okay. So I'm starting to think that Al has a few screws loose. Now. Uh -huh. Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state. Okay. <laughs> Her helmet's on the floor. I'm just. <laughs> I think you're right. I uh, think he's a little nuts. Oh. Oh dear. You is it? I think you can fight him here. That's a lot of flesh. I've done it. And what's funny, I think, is when you fight him here, his stats are all, like, boosted to endgame. So, if you fight him earlier, he's kind of at your level. But if you choose to fight him here, he he's, like, super beefed out. So, like, if you were to fight him now, he'd be endgame? Yeah, I think so. I've done it. I have. Do you get anything for killing him? I don't think so. Go ahead and take take the queen. Is her head still in there? Oh dear. All up. No. At least you have the decency to do that. Just gonna leave Just you Just gonna here. leave you there? Yep. So what, we're doing the rest of the forest next time? 
yes, I believe uh, next time we will head through and complete the forest. We got them were, I would say, at that point, a little over halfway done. Okay. Doesn't feel that way, but here we are. All right. So, I think we'll leave it off here. And next time, we have the forest to do. Anything else before we go? No, not, nothing for me. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.